in Brandenburg in een in, in locatie, uh, Viking Marine. En uh, ik heb de taalaspect ervan en ook de grafische. En langs is ook zo in contact gekomen met uh, Klima via de Galdersloch. En omgekeerd. Dus hij gaat nu wel uitleg geven daarover. Dus je kunt het vergelijken met een hakka vanuit New Zealand en dan de Viking Marine. Ja, leuk. Oh, je doet het. Je wilt leren? Ja, oké. Ik wil het eerst laten zien. Is dat oké? En dan zal ik je leren. We gaan het doen om echt power te krijgen. Natuurlijk, Galdor, je hebt ook een. Je maakt het in een repetitieve manier. Dat is de Galdor-lag. Dat is de laws van de Galdor. Dat zou een beetje. Normal. So, so, so now I would take one that is already created, but I will teach you the words and how to do it. But you also do it with a Galdran voice, so, so that is something that is um, very loud. I actually, just for fun, I, I am in Norway, I open up uh, metal concerts. So I do that uh, on stage uh, louder than they would play with, with music. So that is. Uh, Fun thing to do. So, so I would just, I just have to clear my voice, voice a little. Otherwise, I would break it. You know. Sometimes people give their own meanings to the runes, but they look. But then it's not a rune; it's a rune galder. It, it it looks like a rune, but the person has given a new meaning to it. So then it, it's not a rune anymore; it's a galder. Do you understand? Because the runes, the, their meanings are fixed. You, you cannot change the meaning, the sound, or the meaning of the rune. But the galder. You, you change for your own purpose, and and you, it was you you asked how do you use it? Yes. So so, so a galder um, you use of course uh, a basically in, in two ways. Either as protection, 
or to hurt somebody. You know, it, it's it, it's a perfect way to inflict fear, and you know, so so in the old <coughs> times, uh, you know, you were executed if, if you were doing uh, the gallows, and that be that became a, a problem in. Um, in the 1650s on, on Iceland, because they had a the person um, Brynjolf for Svensson. Brynjolf Svensson, he, he was the, the bishop of one of the bishop bishoprics on Iceland. He was the one who uh, preserved the Elder Edda. For, for, he was also collecting old manuscripts. But but uh, they had a, a, of course a school of students, you know, people who would become priests. And then they found out that they had a, a school, a Galbra school, you know. And, and at that time, it was, uh, it was, uh, you were, it was death penalty. If you, since the middle of the 13th century, it was death penalty if you people found you out do, doing Galbras. But but what happens? So 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 they were. They found out that that they they were doing. Uh, a little bit more than 60 different galbros, but because of three of them were Glima galbros, uh, so, so that made uh, that uh, they were acquitted, you know, they were not executed because they said that, but everybody does Glima galbros, you know, th then you have to execute everybody who does Glima, we cannot do that. So, so, so a Glima galbro, it, it is made so you, so you not, don't get injuries. You know, and so you, you can make it offensive or defensive. So, so, so you, then you put them under your feet. So, so, so then you have the Glima Galdor, you have the word. So Glima Galdor also tells, uh, tells the meaning uh, of uh, what Glima is all about. So, so, so it, can, it has also those meanings. But now when we speak about a Galdor, as we are going to do today, that was made, um, uh, that was made, you know, so, so in war, you, you could get to the battle unharmed, and you can also get back, you know, alive. So, so, so it, it was made both, it, it is like, you know, in sports, you have pep talk, you know. Now we will take it, yes, we will do, you know, and you repeat it, and, and you believe it, you know, and you can also have rituals, you, you know that if I don't shave my, you know, I, I'm strong. You, you know, you make it something repetitive, but it was also made to scare, scare the enemy. And for instance, uh, you, you, when you have a shield, you you, um, you bite the shield, and, and you can get uh, resonance. You know, when you, uh, uh, I, I can show you with a share, just to explain uh, the principle. Oh, oh you're interested in this. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. so it, 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 it is just to, to show a principle. <laughs> they, were, they were fighting with sheriff. Cowboys. <laughs> 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 so, come on. You know, so, so, so this is a good so, white thing. No, so so it was that, and um, uh, you know the shield still round, and and, and so, so, so you, you um, it is called you're biting the shield, but uh, I will just I will not bite it. it is, uh, so, but it is like uh, you know um, when when it is a flat surface, you, you can get much more resonance with it. So so, so then you are like. Uh, uh, we, we say that you're like uh, 30, uh, 40 warriors, and, and you, because in, when it was battle, you, you, you said that beforehand, okay, we will meet at this place, and, and then the enemies could be uh, more, you know, uh, but they may be more, uh, but if the enemies were doing gallows before, they knew, because when you do this with the shields, uh, um, then you also go together with your voices. So, so, so when I'm, when we are going to train the galbros, we will do that. And then I will also show you the technique when you make 
you know, the, the voices go together, so, so it will be very strange overtones. You know, it, it sounds really spooky, okay? So, so, so this is like, so this is, <coughs> so, so when, when you use <coughs> something like this, so you use this as, a, so you get better resonance. So, so, so they were biting in the shields and, and doing it, and, and when you bite the shield after the work, well, what do you call when it comes foam? Yeah. Rabies. No, not rabies, that is when you're sick, you know. So, <laughs> so, 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 you know, when you do it, it, it runs like this. Yeah, uh, uh, saliva. Yeah, yeah, saliva. Saliva. Uh, saliva. You start drooling and also your eyes you go. So, so it, it's a way to uh, to scare. It, and, and it sounds so it will be. They are not like plastic, they are woods, so it's much better resonance. So, so this, this is just the thing. And all 40 together? What? And all 40 of the guys together? Yeah, together. Yeah. Wow. So, 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 so that <laughs> was... Like you, uh, <laughs> so, so that was... So, 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 because then, then the... Uh, and this was recorded as, as lagging, you know, so, so then the new... Damn, they are, they are doing witchcraft, and, and it sounds a bit... Okay, but we stand up. So and bring some water so you can clear your throat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes, so, so, 
it's just the shape. <laughs> okay? And then we take uh, the next um, word, erilad. Erilad is the same word that transformed to, in English, earl, and in uh, Scandinavian, <coughs> gal, because, um, uh, and it's, um, so it, it's, uh, it is uh, a inside, the something that writes, that moves, la is something that sounds, and uh, uh, ending on something <coughs> that you, you own, it's uh, genitive, that you own. So it's, so it is the, the moving sound inside that exists. So that is, so every love was also the name for room monster. So, 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 it, so, so every love is something very powerful. So you say that I am the, the strong sound. And we are, okay? So it will be, and we do it in one, so if it's one expression, we do it in one, uh, egg, you know, how, uh, what do you one say? Breath. One breath. breath. Breath, yeah, one breath. So it will be, do you understand? So, so, so I can do it, uh, the same, okay? So, so, so it is, the words have uh, 
depending where you take them, has lots of meaning. So, so what we are saying now that I am the, the sound, this existing sound that moves, and I, I, I am entering the, the hall of the gods as a gift. So it, it's really powerful, it works. So this is, this is, this is all much, much, you know, all Norse, uh, that, that is from, from the medieval time. This is 800 years old, over. This is from the uh, fourth century. Really powerful. So now it's also Giza. So, so that will be too hard for us to say in one breath. So we will say, Asu Gizala. Okay? <coughs> oh! Try to do that now. 
and in love. So we will do it. It will not sound out, but we will do it in the same uh, tempo, the same strength, but inside ourselves. Are you ready? A little too weak. Can you put a, a little bit more energy in it? Is it okay that you try it? Yeah, yeah. It, it should be, it, we should, we can get closer to, to each other, and, and uh, so, so we should uh, at least feel something next up. Are you ready? We can close our eyes if, at this is there. Are you ready? And I said, okay. Now. Now, much, much better. You see? So, so, so even, even if you do it uh, uh, silent, it, it can be noticeable. So, so, no. so, so this is just to show you different techniques. Because when you, when you make a, a gallery in, in some situation, it can be a protective gallery. You don't want to reveal. But of course, if you want to scare somebody, you know, make them run away. Of course, then you do it with the so, so, so now we continue with the full gander. Ek eri lad also kiss on us. And now I let you, you know, uh, uh, we can do it in our own, uh, uh, of course, ek and eri lad. That would be, because it's three syllables, we will do, but also kiss on us at these five syllables. So that is, at some point, <coughs> we must take a breath. But I will allow you yourself to, to decide that. The, the only idea is that you have to uh, quickly come in again. So you don't, to, so you take a breath as you do when you are, you know, when you're swimming on the water, when it, you take that, that uh, okay? <coughs>